This is Marika! Come here! This is Marika! You know what her nickname is? Which is gonna be really funny. I call her Turkey! She's like my best friend. This is her house. She's letting me cook here. I call her Turkey. Anybody that knows Maddie or Marika know that I call her Turkey. That's your nickname. Why are you yelling? Because that's my TV voice, man. Chill out, bro. Welcome to the world of Thanksgiving. I'm Maddie Matheson, and I'm going to show you how to make a Thanksgiving traditional feast. Hey, this is a feast. This is not some fucking half-assed, this is how you make a fucking, this is how you call a pizza joint, order a pizza. This is how you make a fucking Thanksgiving feast, my man. So what we want to have for a big feast, you guys start off with what? A big old turkey. We're going to have some roasted carrots with some roasted apple cider gastric. We're going to make some sweet potato butternut squash baked mash. We're going to be also making some Yukon gold cream cheese baked mash. I like mashes. Also, we're gonna be making a traditional stuffing. First, turkey time. It's a beautiful, local, organic, sustainable Ontario turkey. It's got some sage in it for effect. I'm gonna use that sage later though. A lot of people are gonna yell at me because I didn't brine this. I'm gonna roast this bird straight up, okay? All you fucking assholes out there that are gonna be like, you need to fucking brine it, you gotta fucking do whatever. You know what you gotta do? You gotta cook it simply with love. And we're gonna roast this for about two hours. This is an 11 pound turkey. It's gonna come out golden and beautiful and you're gonna love it. No. Where's the stuff? No. I'm in somebody else's house right now. I don't know where anything is. Oh, ah. No. Check this out. I'm gonna cover this in salt. Do you see how much salt? That's a lot of salt. I'm gonna put some pepper. I'm gonna throw a lemon inside of it. Take off the sticker. You don't want the sticker in there. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Take some of the sage. We're gonna shove that inside the cavity. We're gonna take a little time. And I'm gonna let this be. There's enough fat on here. People rub it and put butter inside of it. They put a bunch of shit into it. Rub it with oil, they brine it. They do so many different things. Right now, this is a beautiful creature. I preheated the oven at 450. We're gonna get some color on this. And see these walls, the, the, the pot? This is gonna just get the heat in there and it's gonna move everything around. And all of a sudden, we're cooking a turkey perfectly. Cause that's the biggest problem in the world is how to cook turkeys. It's not war, it's not child hunger. The biggest problem in the world is motherfuckers don't know how to cook turkey. And I'm here to show you one time. Oh, but you know what? I'm not stuffing the fucking bird, no. Cause I don't like stuffing the bird because it gets all gummy and weird and the stuffing comes out and it's all soaked and wet. I'm gonna make a stuffing casserole flavored in a turkey flavoring. And then the actual turkey cooks faster and better because it's not full of this sponge thing called stuffing. So to make the stuffing, you need bread and we're gonna break up all the bread, cut up all the bread, put that into a casserole dish. We're gonna have an entire casserole dish full lined with crunchy, beautiful, amazing, lovely stuffing. Ah! You know what makes the most noise in the entire world? Drawers and kitchens. We got a whole pound of butter in here. I got a bunch of onions and celery. I'm just gonna pour all those in. Chicken stock, a lot of sage, some parsley, really simply. You want that, that poultry taste. This is one of my all-time actual favorite things. This is poultry seasoning. I'm just gonna put in like two big wooden spoon tablespoons full. You'll never achieve that stuffing flavor until you add this. And we're just gonna literally let that cook down. Some people put chestnuts, walnuts, raisins, sausages, all this crazy stuff. But for me, my family, this is, this is the kind of the stuffing that we would have. You're looking to cook this 
maybe half an hour till it's nice golden brown, nice and roasted on top. I'm not, I'm not some super chef. I'm just the best chef in the universe. I said that before, probably. I don't know. But right now, I'm free balling it. Mashed potatoes. Baked, no problem. Yukon Golds, peel them up, put them in the water, heavily salted. I like to keep my potatoes whole when I uh, boil them because I don't want a lot of water to get into them. So now we got the stuffing done. The potatoes are about to start boiling. We gotta make our sweet potato mash as well. Cause you always gotta have sweet potato mash and mash. That's enough of that, I'd say. But I also like to add another big fucking thing to peel. Holy fuck. This is why I think your mom's always so pissed off. Like she's always like fake happy at Thanksgiving. Cause she just busted her ass all day, fucking peeling sweet potatoes, fucking butternut squashes. Okay, so we got our fucking butternut squash. Bang, bang. So I took some butternut squash, some sweet potato, some Yukon Golds, cut them up, put them in the water. So the potatoes are done. Beautifully cooked, perfect potatoes. And then we're gonna put in butter and cream cheese. The secret to mashed potatoes is you wanna make sure that they're as dry as they can be when you mash them and then that your butter's cold and your cream cheese is at room temperature. I ripped this off, this is from my wife's mom. She makes the best mashed potatoes ever. Shout out to Carol. Carol, I love you. So sweet potato mash is good. And then we're gonna do the same thing. So just a little bit different. We're gonna add some maple syrup, add a little flavoring, just a pinch. Cinnamon, cinnamon goes a long way. And we're gonna add a little pinch of the poultry seasoning. This is the weirdest mixer thing I've ever fucking seen. So we're gonna bake that as well. Just get a nice little crust on top with the mash. Next, we're gonna make beautiful roasted carrots. These carrots are amazing. We got the apple cider vinegar, we got apple cider, and we got some maple syrup. Watch this technique as I show you the technique of cutting the carrots. And then we're gonna turn it back towards you. 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 And what you have are these like nice little pieces of carrots that will roast beautifully. Vegetable fucking jewels. Oh my God. back okay we're gonna throw some butter around in the carrots that's it that's all I can shake okay we're gonna add a little bit of apple cider thing we're gonna add some maple syrup then we're gonna add a little bit of vinegar okay we're gonna add a little bit of thyme some nice little thyme leaves all of this stuff, once this cooks down, this is all those flavors, acid, fat, fucking sweetness. That stuff comes together and you got something that's called a balanced dish. Beautiful, let that roast reduce, turn into kind of like this like carrot gastric reduction. All that stuff is gonna caramelize and roast and make beautiful carrots. I'm gonna throw our carrots, we're gonna maximize this. There we go, boom. Funnest time in the fucking universe is about to happen right now. My favorite thing to make out of all of this is actually the cream corn. I love creamed corn so much. If you love cream corn, everybody loves cream corn. Cream corn. So we got the butter melted. Now we're just gonna add onions. 
which is our base. And then we're just gonna cook these onions down until they're translucent. Is there no high flames on this fucking thing? There we go. So I'm gonna add the corn now to our cream corn. So we're just gonna have to add a little bit of cream. And a little bit of a fair amount. Add maple syrup. Stir. You want the cream not to be covering the corn, because when you blitz it, you still want it to be kind of like pulpy and kind of thick and yummy and warm. So the cream corn is done. Blend this up. Add a little more maple syrup. Oh, all the maple syrup. So you're looking for the consistency of like, Really thick, chunky barf, I guess, is the consistency. Like, you want it to be barfy. That's delicious cream corn. That is good to go. So I'm about to make our roasted Brussels sprouts with bacon. I got some nice, beautiful double smoked bacon. Get this nice and crispy. And then we're gonna add our halved Brussels sprouts in here and have that as our base. Throw them in there, mix them around, get the bacon fat all in there. Beautiful, bacon fat's going, Brussels sprouts roasting, super hard roast on those. Little salt. A little pepper. And then when these come out, we'll hit them with a little fresh orange juice. And they'll be real nice. getting there guys. Almost all the fixings are done. The Brussels sprouts are in. The carrots are roasting. The stuffing's roasting. The mashed potatoes are about to roast. The sweet potato about to roast. I just gotta make some gravy and some cranberry sauce and then we just gotta wait and then we gotta serve this shit. Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for all this. I'm thank You know what I'm thankful for? All the YouTube people out there. I'm thankful today for all of the internet fucking trolls in the entire world, for everybody. Because if we didn't have haters like you, we wouldn't want to soar above the clouds like eagles. Ha ha! Perfect. Oh my god. Now is the best time. We've got the turkey out, it's resting. It's gravy time! So we took the roasted neck bone of the turkey. We took that out, all the juices and all the stuff from the turkey, we took that, added that to the gravy. You know the secret to a really good gravy is beef stock and chicken stock, right? We're gonna put in some sage, some fresh thyme, some fresh parsley, some roasted shallot, boom. Gravy, reduce that, beautiful. No flour, you don't need any of that kind of crap. It's a beautiful thing. You know, you got beautiful jus, it's all you need. Let's make some cranberry sauce, shall we? Cranberry sauce is something that I don't like at all, but I feel you need to make it because it's the one weird uncle loves it. The guy who shows up drunk with a short tie on or some fucking weirdo boyfriend. Cranberries, sugar, cinnamon, a little star anise, some zest of some oranges, a little orange juice, maple syrup, a little bit of apple cider, and that's it. Simmer, get down to that sauce consistency. This is it, we got the gravy, we got the cranberry sauce. This is easy, people, follow me. So the Brussels sprouts are good to go, they're perfect. Just bacon, orange juice, beautiful. The carrots, however, we're gonna, we're gonna add some little treats. We're gonna add like little dollops of some some ricotta. Ooh, ooh, it's a big, big chunk. Little pistachios. This is a Thanksgiving feast that is beautiful. It's amazing, it's thoughtful, and it's really easy. So this is Thanksgiving. Now, here's the moment that everyone wants to see. You carve turkey, you carve a turkey and you're like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And you're like, oh, beautiful turkey.
Yo, fuck with me on this. That is a beautiful, perfect cooked turkey. Mm. Thanks for Thanksgiving! Thank you for being good buddies, because the good buddies, if you ain't got buddies, you ain't a good guy. That's what my dad always said. All right. No, 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 no. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> Love you, Dad. <laughs> Shout out to all the people out there who like eating turkey. I don't fuck with cranberry sauce. That's okay. Love yourself and you will be loved. I'm out. World peace. Thanksgiving is lit. Ah.